Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Hunting where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So this is Axeman Legends. Uh, they do have a beta you can play. I've played the beta just for a few minutes, but uh, everything seems to work all right. looks good you know, in the beta. We see some uh, stuff up here at the topmost part of the page. Features, tokenomics, a roadmap craft white paper and buy buttons you know so we talk about the lore here um that you know some monsters of the underworld roam among us you know will you be the hero who cleans it cleanses the, king, the king's land from these beasts um p players can participate in battles develop their axe warriors and gather resources the native token is going to be used to buy and exchange in-game nft characters you know on the nft marketplace so as far as features you know you get a 2d browser game um the game's free um you don't have to register, you know, I can confirm that. They're going to be adding some new levels soon, you know, as they mentioned here. You can also customize your characters, you know, your NFT collection. Um, with the help of the NFT here, you can improve, you know, weapons and equipment. And eventually they want to be able to bring narrative an animations and videos uh, to be able to tell the story and help you understand the lore. So on the skins, these are basically, you know, what the characters are going to look like, you know, as you engage with the game, you know, so... And then they give you instructions, you know, so the instructions are helpful. Not a lot to really understand, but they are helpful because I had to refer back to them um, in regards to the game. And then on the tokenomics, uh, we see 12%, you know, buy and sell tax. They give you a bit more information if you take a look at the white paper, which we will do here in just a little bit. In the roadmap, you can see some things here on the roadmap, starting with marketing and presale. Uh, more marketing, big groups, you know, frequent AMAs, maybe an AMA tour, I don't know. Further game development, NFT collection release, and cosmetics update and lore update. So, and then basically we get to the you know the footer of the website. You know, so um, so yeah, uh, pretty concise you know information I think for a uh, for a main website page. The other thing I want to do before we get into you know the roadmap or not the roadmap but the white paper is to let you know that uh, the audit on this project it did pass with no higher medium severity issues. No information regarding a pre-sale has been released yet. And the team is not photodoxed, and I haven't been able to find a certificate of KYC. So we do have an anonymous uh, team on this one so far. Now, looking at the white paper, I'm going to go ahead and scroll to tokenomics. You know, so there we go, and we can see what's going to what. Um, total supply here, we're looking at a million A gold. Okay, and uh, we see 49.5% going to pre-sale liquidity, 22% going to PDE reward pool. 5% to centralized exchange or reserve, 10% to game treasury, 8% to development, 5% to marketing reserve, and 0.43 to burn. Okay, so, and then we see a bit more on the roadmap, you know, going to uh, Q4 2022, you know, since we're basically already there. Um, chapter 1 release of the game, intense marketing campaign, uh, passing the uh, KYC, you know, by Cyberscope. However, I have not seen the certificate, you know, so if the team sees the video and they want to share that link with me i can certainly update you know the description cooperation with pink sale safe food developers so i'm guessing they want to get a safe food badge you know for their pink sale uh, pre-sale or maybe it looks like they might get go ahead and do a, a subscription pre-sale so uh, pancake swap listings cmc uh, g fast track listings you know um I've mentioned this before, and I'll start mentioning it more and more. They don't really need to mention, you know, fast track or listings for CMC. I think what makes more sense is to just mention that you're submitting an application, you know, for CMC and, and CoinGecko, because they no project controls when they get listed, you know, on these two platforms. Um, the best they can do is submit the applications, and then it's really up to CMC and CoinGecko when they get listed, right? So chapter two, we see play to earn in additional mini games. Leaderboard competition and game clubs and politics politics release. Not really sure what that is. Uh, Axeman Legends game chapter two is coming. You know here in chap in in uh, 2023. New partnerships, uh, centralized exchange listing, and then in um, Q2 of 2023 in game DAO um, map extension expansion. Uh, let's see chapter three release NFT marketplace for skins release server upgrades. Cross-chain expansion and major PvP mini game updates. So, as far as like feedback on the roadmap, uh, I do like the fact that we get some timelines, so that's important. But it, they should be crossing stuff off they've already completed and indicate what is currently in process, pending, and ongoing. And um, as far as this is concerned, 
map expansion, I'm going to guess is roadmap expansion. Um, but if I'm if I'm wrong about it and the team sees the video, that'd be helpful for them to clarify. So, all right. But yeah, beyond that, I don't really have anything else to add. You know, they gave you some information in regards to the team, but again, the team's anonymous. You know, so as always, ladies and gentlemen, we don't encourage you to invest on this channel, but we do encourage you to get informed. So make sure that you're engaging with as much content as possible beyond this video. Any other YouTubes that may be covering the, the project, you know, be helpful to watch their videos too, so that you develop a more complete picture of the project and understanding all the details associated with it. Make sure you take a look at the documentation and what's going on in their social channels, you know, so that you can develop your own signals as to what leads you into a project or away from it altogether. Thank you so much again for watching this video on Axeman Legends and supporting the channel. Um, continue to please share this channel with other people uh, that may be into crypto, especially if you're getting any value out of this channel. So um, with that said, that'll do it for me. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. And with, uh, with that said, as always, enjoy the day.